Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am just about to make some breakfast and I want to show you guys my new favorite thing. It's so good. So in the mornings when I'm craving something warm, this is what I go for. So it is a warm chia and flaxseed pudding with hemp hearts, cinnamon, cardamom, and a few drops of stevia. And here I have about one and a half cups of almond milk. So I take about two tablespoons of ground flaxseed two tablespoons of ground chia seed. And I grind these myself, by the way. I just put them in my Vitamix in a little small um, cup, and then I just keep it in my fridge. And then I take three tablespoons of hemp hearts. And then about a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of cardamom. And about four little drops of stevia. Totally forgot about the vanilla, so I'm just adding a little bit into there too. So here is the finished warm chia flex pudding. I put some frozen wild blueberries on top, walnuts, coconut flakes, and a little bit of almond butter as well. Seriously, so good, so filling, so nutritious, full of healthy fats. Hello guys, it is a little bit later. I've had my breakfast, we've done a call. I have another call in about two hours and then some other work things I have to get done. But today's gonna be a pretty chill day. I've had a really nice and slow, easy start to the morning. I woke up, got my period so I did not feel the best and I was just not in the mood to do a workout so I skipped that I made myself some tea and actually sat right here where I'm sitting right now and I read a few pages of Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert I love that book so much I've actually read it a few times it has so many nice passages and so much inspiration so I would highly highly recommend that book I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out see so yeah, I think it's really important to listen to your body and adapt your morning routine to what you need and what your body needs and today I just needed rest <laughs> on another note I see actually here a little reflection of the new lights that we have put in so a really really exciting apartment update are our new dining table lights we just had these put in a couple of days ago it was quite the mission <laughs> to put these up we of course had professional help we had an electrician come and we put up this black panel here so that we were able to put two lights because i think the table it's quite long so i think two lights just work a lot better to kind of fill out the space and these are from a brand called Aniko design they're actually a small business about a month ago i did a feature on my instagram stories with some of your guys's favorite small businesses and this is one that you recommended and i featured them they reached out to me and they sent me their lights and we love them they are so so beautiful the quality and the design is super super nice as well i feel like it really gives this beautiful kind of modern tulum look to our room i am absolutely obsessed and they did actually offer a code for you guys to use i believe it should still be active i shared it on my instagram it's annie10 for a 10 percent off so yeah, i'm super super happy with these and then you guys might see that we also put up our living room light this one is from west wing they have it in a few different finishes but we got the matte black and i love that it goes with our curtain rods and we have like other little black accents in the apartment that i think it just works really well together so that is super exciting as well i also put a leaning mirror here this is not going to stay in this exact place this was actually in one of our bathrooms before but we did order some new mirrors again with a very thin black matte uh, frame so that is going to go there hopefully that's going to come soon and we will also have a similar mirror with a black frame that's going to come here and also in our entryway so the apartment is coming together and 
I'm so happy. Another pretty exciting update that we have in our apartment is here in our office. We had this cupboard put in and part of this has my makeup and brushes, some beauty products. It's not really organized yet, so I'm gonna wait to show this to you guys. And then here in these two, we have our like office supply things. We had to get this funny little <laughs> side door here because the unit otherwise wouldn't fit. So anyway, you open it up like this, and here we have all of our folders for our businesses. And as you can see, the labeling of them is not the nicest, sorry babe. Mo did this a few years ago and I have been wanting to redo it. So I ordered these folder labels on Amazon and they are customizable and I just printed out all of the things that we need so i'm going to do this little project right now and show you guys a really nice before and after this is going to be so satisfying okay so here is the before and this is after so so much better you guys it is the next day i'm feeling a lot better today i think the last thing i filmed was in the office when i showed you guys the before and after of our folders mo loved it by the way he was like whoa <laughs> it's really a big difference and i'm super happy with how that turned out but after that i just did some work we actually ended up going for a little walk we've been trying to do that at like five o'clock six o'clock it's just been really nice to get out a little bit before i cook dinner and we spend some time together we get some fresh air and just like get out from being at home all day so we did that and i also find that that is quite helpful for cramps as well anyway today is a new day and i'm feeling a lot better we also just got in our new mirrors the ones that i was telling you about yesterday those just arrived so i want to show them to you they are so pretty also earlier this morning i did a little bit of journaling and i did it in a little bit of a different way so i wrote a question to myself this is something that i often think about and the question is what does true success mean to me so not what it means to society to your parents to your peers your friends but what it really means authentically to me and then i kind of did like a map out where i wrote certain responses and then from that i wrote another thing and another thing i love journaling for reasons like this because it really allows you to connect to your truest self i think it's great to get inspiration and ideas from other people and look for kind of like solutions and answers you can look for those outside but never underestimate how much you really know i think there's truly just such a big well of information and knowledge within each and every one of us but it's not that we always have the time or the focus to get in touch with that part of ourselves so that's why i really love journaling and i think it's also good to have different ways to journal because i think certain topics or certain themes can require a different way or a different style of journaling to really tap its full potential or to really get to the bottom of something our human brains and our human minds are so fascinating and sometimes we need like different kinds of prompts or questions to really be able to explore and discover different parts of ourselves so i'm really open to learning about all different ways to journal i was actually introduced to this specific style of journaling from yasmin cheyenne she is somebody that i've been following on instagram for quite a while she is a self-healing expert and mental health advocate i'll pop in her instagram here and she actually has a really great course on skillshare as well which is where i learned about this journaling technique her course is called writing for self-discovery six journaling prompts for gratitude and growth and this particular one is called brain dump she also has prompts for cultivating joy for working through regret redefining success which is also where i got some inspiration for this and she goes through some other really interesting prompts as well so if you guys are new to journaling i would highly recommend this course or if you are a seasoned journaler or someone who's already very passionate about it but you want to learn about new ways to take it to the next level and just learn about some 
some different ways to get in touch with yourself, kind of challenge yourself in a different way, then I would highly, highly recommend this course. I am working with Skillshare on this video and it's a platform that I can 100% recommend. I genuinely use this all the time. Mo uses it as well. They have some really amazing courses on there, taught by professionals and industry experts. They have courses on everything from design to productivity, entrepreneurship, accounting, videography, graphic design. They also have lifestyle classes like interior design. So Skillshare is truly such an amazing online learning community with, again, thousands of inspiring classes. And now that we're spending so much time at home as well, I think it's really important to have something positive and productive to do with our time. And I always think that learning about something and developing new skills and just doing something really positive for yourself, I feel like that helps a lot. If you guys want to try Skillshare as well, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box down below will get a free trial to their premium membership. And after that, it's only around $10 per month. And again, I would highly recommend Yasmin's course. Another one that I really like is by Nathaniel Drew. It's called Creativity Unleashed. I took that course a few months ago and I found it really, really great. So I will have the name of these two courses down below as well, again, with the link. Getting back to this, so I just wanna share a little bit of what success means to me because I think it's easy to get caught up on the material aspect of success like you think that success means that you have a lot of money in your account which is fair I mean we all want financial freedom and stability but I think it's really important to kind of ground ourselves in things that are really important and that really give us a true sense of fulfillment and joy and peace and real happiness because why go through life running after something that we all know is not actually going to give us as true long-lasting happiness so I'll just share a few of the things that I wrote and of course you guys can share with me below in the comments if any of these hold true to you as well or what does success mean to you one of the first things I wrote is peace and enjoyment of life and then from that I wrote living on your own terms which to me means freedom it also means honoring my highest self I also wrote family which for me means love and community it also means life because family is so important to me I wrote strong bonds and authentic and loving relationships kindness yet honesty i wrote things like living authentically and truly to myself enough time for self-care not caring what people think having a positive outlook on life financial freedom and security and from that i wrote doing work that positively impacts the world being able to take care of our families and giving back. So you can see that by just asking yourself one question and then kind of like making a web out of this, you can really explore your mind and explore yourself and really see what it means to you. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know if you find this um, kind of like topic of journaling interesting. If you want me to keep sharing my entries with you and just different like journaling techniques and advices and prompts. So I mentioned that we just got our new mirrors delivered. So we have one here, one here. And what I really love is that the frame is super thin. You can see the mirror itself is really thin and it has a matte black frame. Mo is the one that found these and they are completely custom, but they're not like crazy expensive. I cannot think of the name of the website, but I'll make sure to have it down below in the description box. And then you can also choose the um, finishing of the frame as well, which I think is really great. As for here, I'll do a quick little outfit of the day. This sweater is from Anine Bing. My jewelry is Misoma. And these pants are from Fabletics. My home shoes are from our local Christmas market. Mo did recently cut my hair as well. It looks like he colored it, but he hasn't. He just put in a few more layers in my hair. I do want to grow my hair out a little bit, so I asked him to not cut too much off the length. So now when I put my hair back, it has more of a V shape in the back. I don't know if you guys can tell, but before it was kind of like straight and blunt, and now it's a little bit more of a V. And again, a few more layers, especially here around the face. So back to the mirrors, we also got one for this space. And again, I love the fact that they are custom. So you can really fit the mirror to exactly what you need. This one is now leaning, but it is going to go up on the wall and we're gonna put it to where the line of the door is. And I love how mirrors just open up the space. It literally like doubles a space and it brings so much light and I think they're very beautiful. So we got this one as well. And then here in our wardrobe area, we also got 
this one. So this is now another spot for me to do my outfit of the days or when I'm filming stuff for a haul or just vlogs showing you guys my outfits and things like that. And then we also got this massive one here for our entryway. This is nowhere near done. We just have like a random little vase with flowers that are way too tall for it. <laughs> and this old unit that we had in our old apartment, this is going to definitely get a bit of a makeover, but we thought it would be really great to have this huge mirror here when you come in through the door, the door is here. And again, it just really opens up the space and it brings a lot of light because this part of the apartment doesn't have any windows. So now with the big mirror here, it kind of brings more light into the space which otherwise without lights would be pretty dark. myself some lunch i just put together this salad with spinach cucumbers some steamed green beans from last night tomato two eggs half an avocado and here i'm going to make my salad dressing so this is a version of my cashew herb dressing if you guys haven't tried this would highly highly recommend the only thing is i don't have cashews today so i'm going to try it with hemp seeds instead so i'm using a fourth of a cup two cloves of garlic the juice of one lemon and some fresh herbs this is basil but you can also use cilantro or parsley you can really use whatever herb you like and then i'm also going to do a fourth of a cup of water i'm going to blend it all in this little mini vitamix cup i'll make sure to leave this recipe down below in the description box as well i'm actually also going to add some apple cider vinegar So here is my finished salad. This looks so good. I tasted the dressing and it's still delicious. <laughs> and I just sprinkled some salt and pepper on top, some sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Yum. Hello you guys, it is the next day. I am sitting at my desk and I'm reading through all of your comments from the video that I posted yesterday and that was about my journey with my chest. I actually posted that yesterday after I showed you guys my lunch but I was so nervous so I couldn't really vlog and do that as well so I pretty much spent all of yesterday just chatting with you guys, getting back to your messages, your DMs and I just want to say a huge thank you from from the bottom of my heart for just being so understanding so kind and just so supportive around this topic that is so sensitive for me and it was so difficult for me to talk about but i knew in my heart that it was important to do that a lot of you shared that it really helped you and that it inspired you and that means so much to me i have gathered up some of the most frequently asked questions and i will get to those in an upcoming video because i don't want this video to be too long but yeah i just want to say thank you guys so much for your love and support it's also just so nice to see how open you guys are and how amazing and supportive and kind you are and just makes me want to continue to do more videos like this and just share about more personal things i'm now going to wrap up this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed as always make sure to check the description box down below for recipes links i'll try to have as many of the things that i talked about and mentioned listed down below as i can think about but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed i hope that you're having a nice day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.